Hey everyone, today we'll be making cup speakers to use with a radio and we'll demonstrate some applications of electromagnetism through this activity. So let's get started. Here are the things that you'll need. You need one round magnet, one C cell battery, scissors, sandpaper, coil, a cup, some tape, and a radio with um, detachable speakers output. So let's begin. First, you're going to take your D -cell, C cell battery and your coil wire and you're going to wrap the coil wire around the battery 80 times. So make sure to leave about two inches of space on uh, when you're starting to wind the coil and then just wind it 80 times. Like I said, leave a little bit of space at the end like that and when you cut the coil leave two inches of space at this end as well okay so now you have a coil of wire with 80 turns so you want to remove the wire from the battery but make sure that it doesn't unravel like that and now you're going to take some tape and tape the coil so that it stays in this place, in this shape. We don't want to have to keep winding the coil like that. And now you have to remove about an inch of the protective coating on the wire on either end. And you're going to do that with some sandpaper. So what I like to do is I like to cut out a small square piece of sandpaper and use that to remove this coating. So just make sure you get all of it off and you want about an inch on the end that's exposed. Make sure you get all sides of it. It's really important to get all of the coating off so that you have good connections when you implement this part into the speakers of your radio. Okay, so do the same thing on the other side, about an inch. Okay, so that seems pretty good an inch of the coating off on either end. So now you can put the sandpaper away. And now you're going to get your C cell battery and your magnet. And the purpose of this section of the activity is to observe some of the effects of hooking up this coil wire to the battery and seeing what happens when you bring this coil near the magnet. So take one end of the coil, put it on one end of the battery. Take the other end of the cup, one end of the battery. Take the other end of the coil and put it on the other end of the battery. And now bring your coil near the magnet and observe that it's attracting on the side. You can see the attraction. So it's attracting to the coil on that side. And now let's see what happens when we reverse the polarity. So switch the two ends, bring this end over here. 
and bring that end over here. Now let's see what happens. So now you can kind of tell, it's hard to tell, you can feel it though, that the coil is repelling the magnet. So now the coil's getting repelled by the magnet. Cool, huh? All right, so now let's get back to the cup speakers. So now that you have your coil of wire, your magnet, and your battery, you take your cup, and what you want to do is tape the magnet in the center of the bottom of the cup, and then you want to tape your coil on the back of the cup in the center as well. So the way to do that is to, well, the way I like to do it is to get some tape and place the magnet in the center of it, and then tape this on the inside. Be careful to actually. So it's about about center. Try and get it as close to the center as possible. Um, it is a bit difficult to do that, but 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 like that. And you want to really make sure that it's stable. So I like to add another piece of tape on top to make sure it's tightly in there. And now we're going to put this coil on the back of the cup and tape that down as well. And make sure this is in the center of... So you want to make sure that the center of the coil is where the center of the battery is. Like that. And so now your cup speakers are completed. All you have to do is hook it up to your radio. So let's get our radio. And what you're going to do is... Uh -oh. Our wire broke. We have to reset that. Anyway, um, now what you're going to do is place your cup like this and the exposed ends of the speaker outputs are going to get connected to the exposed ends of the wire. So you wanna just wind the wire around the exposed end of the output. And it doesn't matter which, um, which end of the coil that you connect to which end of the output. And there you have it. You've just made your cup speakers. Let's see how well it works. So as you can hear, the speakers work pretty well. Let's increase the volume a bit. And now you have created speakers with just a cup, some coil, a magnet, and some tape. Isn't that cool? All right. Thanks, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the activity. And uh, comment below if you have any questions or any suggestions. Thanks.